from where I scratched so much that the pigments came out. 13-year-old Jasmine Dantzler started getting painful rashes at just six months old. I get reminded that, oof, I can't show my legs like they do, or ooh, I can't play that sport like they do, or I have to wear longer socks. Suffering from eczema, an itchy skin condition, Jasmine has periodic episodes, but is always aware of what she eats, knowing that certain foods can cause a major episode. For children 0 to 17 years of age, that skin and food allergies increased over the past 14 years. This government survey put out by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says that one in 20 U.S. kids have food allergies. That's a 50% surge since the late 1990s. Could it be environmental factors? Could it be genetic factors that are causing these increases? And I mean, that's what we need more research to kind of look and explore why is this occurring. While scientists study potential factors like overuse of antibiotics, a culture of disinfection or how foods are grown. Many child psychiatrists are noticing another trend. Here probably about 75 to 80 percent of our attention deficit disorder kids have a pattern with their spec that would be correlated with food allergies. And we also see a whole lot of blue. Dr. Faber is talking about a brain spec in ADD patients called the ring of fire. The red images on this scan represent an abnormal amount of blood flow or stimulation. We need to start looking at elimination diets probably a bit more seriously to help these kids do well. On the other side, some of the medical community believe there is too much misdiagnosis of food allergies, and some of the blame can be pointed to the hygiene hypothesis, meaning kids are being less exposed to germs at a young age, which weakens their defense against allergic diseases. Robert Ray, Associated Press.